and our final student speaker is Mauro Magana. Good evening. It is uh, it's a great honor to be standing before you. <clears throat> My name is Mario Magana, and I am a proud La Cuesta graduating senior. I would like to tell you about La Cuesta, a school that became a place of redemption. I owe much to this school, not just for the education of textbooks and classwork, but for all the experiences that I lived through, and for all the things it taught me. I came to this school because I was behind on credits, sent by Santa Barbara High after trying to enroll there. I thought I'd fallen into a second-hand place where only bad kids went, I was soon proved wrong. When I was first enrolled in La Cuesta, I was very silent. I never spoke, I never asked questions, made comments, or said my mind at all. But after a while, it was just too much to be around people who were just so open-minded and willing to hear even the most ridiculous comments or ideas, and even answer the oddest questions. I remember my first few days at La Cuesta. Familiar faces among the crowd of students became common. The teachers I met were different, but in an extremely positive way. Instead of telling us that we had to do something, they explained to us why we had to do it. The teachers gave meaning to the materials we were being handed. Of the many things I learned at La Cuesta, I have to say that the biggest was when I stopped trying to hide myself from everybody around me and just opened up, becoming my own individual who spoke out and said what was on my mind. I made friends at La Cuesta that had walked a different path of life, facing difficulties that made my own story was pale in comparison. There are a few thank yous I'd like to extend. First and foremost, to my dad, who has been the pillar that I have always leaned upon. I would also like to thank the teachers at La Cuesta, each helping every one of us in their own little way. I would also like to thank the staff who keep things running smoothly in the office, and of course, Ms. Teton and Ms. Abney, who will always work hard for the students. As for the students themselves, I can honestly say that I would have not picked anybody else to spend my last year of high school with. I made good friends, thank you, Brenna, Victoria. Oh. And I made no enemies because there is nothing I could hold against any of you. I would like to thank everybody who showed up today, especially the parents. The support you show your daughters and sons is truly appreciated. I can tell you personally that although we as teenagers don't always say it, we love you guys. We love our parents, our teachers, and we love our mentors. To my fellow seniors, we did it. We did it. We've graduated. We finished our journey. We made mistakes. We fell down, but we got back up. We made some bad choices, and we paid the consequences. But now we're onto life, onto college, and the world beyond that. I have no doubt that every single one of and every single one of us will succeed, because it's in our spirit to not just stay down when we trip. It's in our hearts to always stand up when we fall. Thank you.